y'all doing? All right, so let's get started. Okay. This is like take three. So let's see what messages we have for the collective. We're going to pull from the self-love affirmation. If you guys want to purchase these, the link is in the description. Two three cards for the collective. Okay. So two more cards. All right. So the first one we have. I nourish the callings of my soul and feed my spirit's desires. Okay. The next one we have is the way I treat myself is a direct reflection of my value. Okay. And we have, I give thanks to my body for turning my ideas into reality. The world needs my creativity. Yes. Okay. So I really like these. All right. So let's see what messages we have. I like those messages today. Let's see what messages we have. Just what guidance do we have Ooh. for the collective? Messages, guidance for the collective. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Okay. This is a Thomas reading. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Okay. We got a lot of poppers. A lot. A lot. Alright. Nine of Wands here. So I do I do feel like someone here has gained some sort of courage. Um, could be overcoming a situation. Nine of Wands usually talks about overcoming some sort of energy. Um Sun card here, Six of Cups, maybe clarity, dealing with past emotions, chariot in reverse, not moving forward. Um someone could be losing their determination here because chariot in reverse is like a loss of discipline or a loss of determination hangman here seeing something from a different perspective okay six of swords here so i feel like someone is making some plans someone's moving forward towards something new releasing some some lack i feel like someone's releasing a lack or releasing something that was either they're releasing their concern Losing their drive of investing into a situation, maybe seeing clarity of the past, clarity of something. Somebody's moving forward. Two sixes here. There's definitely some balance that's happening. And I definitely feel like for some of you guys, this six is going to lead you to Ace of Pentacles. I mean, well, lead you to investing into Ace of Pentacles. Because there's an investment that is happening here. And this is my third reading. And in the other readings, I've definitely seen some sort of investment. So either, you know, you could be... And I always try to give you a different perspectives to see this. You could be leaving a job, um, ready to invest into something else, really wanting to find balance for yourself. You could be, okay, come on with it. Could be, um, <laughs> you could be, I got to pull these cards. Let me, let me get these cards out because they won't let me say it. Uh, for some of you guys, you could be taking a leap of faith. Or something else that's going to bring emotional fulfillment. Um, I do feel like with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, there are some mental things that, are, that have you wrapped up. Some of you guys may feel wrapped up within a partnership. What fell out, if you're feeling wrapped up in something, there may be some clarity to either some past emotions or a past situation. Hey, come here. Come sit right here on the floor. Indian style says, y'all don't know how to stop fighting. You too, Javante. All right, so again, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. I feel like there's an investment. Someone knows that it's time to put things in motion to start investing into something. Yeah, king of swords here. King of swords, king of cups. I feel like for some of you guys, this is someone finding the courage to really act on what they feel, um, putting some things in motion. Now, mentally, there are some restraints. Someone feels restricted. Someone feels tied up within their own thoughts. Two of swords here, feeling at a crossroads. Um, because of some partnership or feeling at a crossroads uh, about having to work or cooperate with something. There was a lack. So someone's trying to work past that or there was some sort of codependency or something. Someone's trying to work past that. High Priest is here with the King of Swords. Someone knows. This is, I feel like for some of you guys, either this is a masculine energy or this is someone that is taking on like that type of, of energy and really taking action on what they've already made up in their mind are either speaking something that's going to transform a situation. Okay, so I want to clarify the Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, and the High Priestess.
Why is this Eight of Swords here? We got the Will of Fortune here with the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of cards. So I feel like the change is, there's a change to some investment. Someone invested, planted some seeds in something. I feel like it, it was a delay. So I feel like someone is following their heart and really committing to changing the circumstances of something. Ten wands by laying down some sort of some sort of burden. Someone's laying down some sort of burden. Something that caused them to feel restricted. Yeah. Five cups here. So whether it be their own emotions or just the regret of something that they've dealt with previously. Um, for some of you guys, someone felt restricted, feels restricted, feels like their hands are tied. Whatever it is, it's a challenge. Five swords, five cups. It's something emotionally and mentally challenging for them. Um, I feel like someone is starting to see the bigger picture. Really having new inspirations, new feelings. Two of swords here. I do still feel like there's some sort of blockage here. Yeah. So the blockage here, four of cups with the lover's card. Someone, now this could be Virgo Gemini energy with the lover's card. Um, and I've seen that king of swords. King of swords is Gemini energy. But I feel like for some of you guys, someone's unhappy. Um, really wanting to break through that, that unhappiness. Yeah, seven of swords here. Someone wants to escape. Um, but nine swords, there's a lot of anxiety associated with the situation. So someone's just wanting to be in alignment with removing this blockage or in a, or if not because some some be rooted some of y'all are comfortable with this blockage so you're not talking about removing the blockage some of you guys may be in a space of wanting to remove it um bringing peace of mind to yourself but others of you may be choosing to stay in this sort of restricted energy in order to create some false sense of peace um, but in actuality, you're just blocking your own vision and keeping yourself restricted. Like you can't move because you're not allowing yourself to, even though there's nothing keeping you there. You're just not allowing yourself to move. So high priestess here. Why is this high priestess here? <clears throat> Seven of swords with the two of swords can also be like, um, closing your eyes to something, um, deceiving yourself. Why is this high priestess here? Even though, and, and with these two together, even though there may be this sort of self-deception, and for some of you guys, the self-deception is just feeling as though you're restricted, feeling as though you can't move. There's, It doesn't actually have to be a lie. It just, the feeling that you're restricted is deceiving because you're not. You can move. You're just in a space of unable to actually take action based off your own fears or lack of courage or, you know, circumstance. Um, which all can be changed. So high priestess here with the two of swords. This is like being at a crossroads, knowing the truth about something, but not acting on it. So choosing to stay stuck, but knowing or having clarity. Why is this high priestess here? Why is this high priestess here? Okay. So we have emperor here. Yeah. So with the high priestess here, someone knows that it's time for them to take control, put things in motion and be in alignment with removing the ten swords embracing the end of ruin or the end of this difficult stuff or whatever this is that you're dealing with so i feel like someone just really needs to be in the space of taking again taking on that masculine energy and acting off of what you know and i feel like someone with the king of swords being as the outcome i really feel like someone's about to do that like someone is because king of swords take action he's not he he don't just sit there and think you know, even though that's what he's good at, he's very logical, he can put things together. It's, he's not a allower, he's a, a doer, he's an action taker. So someone's taking some sort of action. And the action may be speaking truth, being clear about something. All right. What guidance do we have moving forward for the collective? What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for the collective? Give me two more. Okay. Yep. One more, more. So I feel like something's been at a pause. Yeah, and I feel like someone here is really following their intuition because they're dealing with a lot of regret. So someone's following their intuition, maybe dealing with a situation that they're regretful about and really just wanting to lift the veil and kind of move toward the future. Someone's ready. You know how I said that to a sword, somebody was blindfolded, somebody was being in the space of allowing themselves to be restricted, allowing themselves to kind of be stuck. Somebody now sees, okay, I've been stuck because I've been choosing to create this illusion of peace in my life, whether it be from dealing with false relationships or false beliefs or false um, goals, maybe just 
getting in a comfort zone and choosing to stay in that someone's having some regrets about that or having some regrets about some decisions previously now following their intuition really searching within themselves for you know a way to reprive themselves or relieve themselves in order to move toward the future or better future so i do feel like with the underworld here even though something was paused under here risk and reward somebody's ready to take a risk they're ready to see some different actions within their life so i feel like someone is really somebody's ready to step out there all right this is all i have until next time y'all